guys welcome back to Queenly's kitchen hope you have been keeping well well guys today I'm going to be sharing with you by special request from one of my subscriber my lovely subscriber how to prepare Jamaica pepper prawn yeah. this Jamaica pepper prawn can be found anywhere in Jamaica especially places like the dance hall the beachside Elsha, Dunge River, you know, all of those nice tourist resort, and even on the street downtown and off a tree, you will find vendors selling only this pepper prawn because it's really sorted after. Now, I remember when I was younger, going back and forth to Jamaica, and even going to school when I was much, much younger, oh my God, I used to save my pocket money just to buy this pepper prawn because trust me, it is spicy, but it's nice. And then Jamaica kid, like you're used to the spice, so it was no problem. So I used to pay like $10 for it or whatever, but I used to save my money to buy this prawn. So today I'm just going to roll back the ears and prepare this pepper prawn. Although it was, you know, highly requested by one of my subscribers. Sitting here we have um, some red pepper waiting. I've already washed it and cut it guys. Here I have my scallion which I've also washed and diced nicely. So here also we have um, red pepper, scotch bonnet red pepper with the seeds guys, you can see. It's with the seeds. So everything is there, didn't waste anything. And again, some red chili pepper with the seed and everybody, didn't waste anything. Right here I also have some garlic. So, in my last video when I was doing the chili prawn, I actually washed and diced my garlic for that recipe. But in this recipe, um, I'm using the peg of the garlic, but I've only gone in and just like use the palm of my hand to press on the garlic to crush it, right? So, it's a different way of doing the garlic in this recipe. Okay, guys? So, remember, you just have to use the palm of your hand and press it down on the clove of your garlic and then you'll get it looking like this i have my ball of prawn waiting patiently for me to marinate it so i'm just going to move these aside guys before i marinate um my prawn i'm just going to show you something um i like keeping the eggs on my prawn but you don't have to I like to use the prawn, the shell, everything, but you don't have to. So if you don't want to use the head of the prawn, guys, all you have to do is just go in with a large knife, yeah, and just quickly but carefully cut the head of your prawn off. And there you go. You got endless prawn. So remember, guys, a large knife go in quickly but gently and be careful and you can just cut the head of your prawn if you don't want to keep it on and then you will have your headless prawn guys okay but you know me i love my the head of my prawn and everything so as usual i'm using head and everybody not leaving out nobody so first of all guys i'm going to go in with my hot chili powder and I think you have seen me use this already so you know what it looks like right so hot chili powder so you know this is going to be spicy because chili powder scotch bonnet chili pepper that's really going to be hot so prepare to have a nice buckler of rich right there <laughs> I'm joking delete that you can drink some water or some kool-aid okay to quench your taste bud so next I'm going in with my garlic you know I love garlic so although I have the peg of garlic waiting I'm still going to go in with my garlic granules guys garlic is very good for you and then I'm going to go in with my fish seasoning a bit of salt not too much Not too much, guys. And then you know the part where you need to be wearing your gloves. You know that, right? Because it's going to be really spicy. Right? Then we're going to go in 
and we're going to marinate it by rubbing in, rub it in, rub it, rub it, guys. <laughs> I saw like a frog just now, innit? Rub it, rub it. So you're going to rub it in nicely, okay? So that all the dry seasoning is well absorbed into your prawn. You need the seasoning to soak into your prawn. Go under the shell, guys. You want it to be nice and hot and juicy and spicy too. We're done with that. And you're going to leave it now. You're going to let it sit and marinate into itself for at least one hour. Our prawn have been marinating for one hour. So now I'm going to start the cooking process. So I'm just going to go in to our frying pan or pot or sauce, whatever you're using, with at least two, guys, two tablespoons of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, sunflower oil, it's your choice, okay? So that's optional, but I'm using two tablespoonful of olive oil. We're going to go in first with our garlic, guys. Yes, and the reason for this is because I need the garlic to infuse with the olive oil and give us that nice aroma, flavor, and taste for when I do add my prawns. Okay, so I'm not going to let it burn, I just need it to be. I did caramelize and then I'm going to take it out. I'm not going to leave it into the oil. So we're going to, I'm going to go over and show you. Okay. So you can see it's getting a bit brown on that side. I'm just going to leave it in. And let it sit and fry guys for a while so guys now i think i've had enough flavor from my garlic into my oil so i'm just going to go in now and take it out Next, I'm going to quickly go into my hot oil with my prawn, guys. And I want you to be very careful, guys, because you know at this point, the oil is going to be really hot. And I'm not going to throw it all at once. I'm just going to use a large spoon and gradually put my prawn into my oil. I don't want it to flop it or anything. You can even use your hand if you choose to guys. But please do be careful, okay? I'm just going to go with my hand at this point. Put it in much quicker and safer. You won't get the prawn falling into the oil and then scratching up into your face. You don't want that. At this point, we're going to turn our prawn, guys. So I know you must be wondering why didn't I put my pepper and stuff first into the oil with the garlic. Now I'm doing it the exact way I saw my dad did it. Maybe in a different vlog, you might watch a different vlog how to do this. And another vlogger or YouTuber might do it a different way. We all have our different way of doing stuff. So, you know, everybody have different tastes and different liking. And also we're taught in different ways by their parents or grandparents or even by their self how to cook. So you're not going to always see one dish being cooked the same way. You know what I mean? It's going to be different. So 
you're going to just have to choose the one that you can follow best which one is easy easier for you which one you gravitate towards or which one you like and even which one that you know suit your taste bud so at this point guys I'm going to go in first with my green hot pepper so this is going to go in into my prawn Next, I'm going to go in, guys, with my scallion. Okay? I'm just trying to get it all nicely spread over your prawn. We're going to leave it at this point guys cover it and leave it for 10 minutes and then i'm going to come back to show you how the heat and the hot oil have changed the color of our prawn from being black or white to whatever color it was gray sorry gray to the color it will be after that 10 minutes it's been 10 minutes now and i'm going to check back on our prawn Ooh looking and smelling delish guys so i'm just gonna go in and stir it a bit yes the color is coming up guys so you can see the transformation now in regards to the color of the prawn it has changed and it's gone from gray to light orange and i think it's going to get darker So at this point, my darlings, I'm going to just go in with my yellow pepper. Then I'm going to go in, guys, with my all-purpose seasoning. That's the way Daddy did it. Toodles to you, Daddy. Mama, don't get jealous, okay? You know, always do stuff your way. But today is daddy day. Daddy month. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going in and I'm stirring. And it's looking nice. So guys, I don't know how daddy did this, but you know when you're younger, you're short, and your parents like look really big, like a big giant to the world. So I used to see my dad go in with a red liquid juice. And all, although I don't know what it is, but I'm going to assume, no, 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 I'm older and a bit wiser. I'm going to assume that daddy use food coloring because in Jamaica, the prawn, trust me, prawn is supposed to be pink or orange, but the prawn, them are red, most of them, and juicy. So daddy must have been using a little bit of food coloring to get that extra red color. So I'm going to be doing it for the first time with you. A bit of the food coloring because remember guys this is daddy's virgin right so oops sorry <laughs> so, <laughs> it's good to laugh guys a laugh a day keep the wrinkle away so yeah remember i'm doing it daddy's way right so i'm just going to go in and pour that red liquid that i'd know or i think it's yeah food coloring so not a lot one two three tips okay and then we are going to stir guys we are going to stir it in and trust me look you can see the juice coming up guys look at that I'm using a big fork but yeah it's coming up and you're going to squeeze and stir it stir it hope you are proud of me daddy when I'm finished with this you know yeah guys I'm not lying it's really looking nice if I should say so myself beautiful and gorgeous 
So you try to get the season off the side because you want the season to accumulate up with the prawn and everybody rub up in a one. You don't want to leave nobody out guys. Yeah? So that is why I'm turning so much time. But then you have to be careful because you don't want to break your prawn. You know, you don't want the prawn egg to come off and it look messy and untidy. Yeah, it will eventually sometime because sometimes some of the eggs are really like soft and already hanging off. So yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it now. Put my, my nice piece of um, thyme because I saw daddy put thyme in it. Because trust me guys, the Jamaica prawn man, when you, if you don't like spice, you better don't try this. Because this is supposed to be really hot. And I cannot not put the extra spice because I'm doing it exactly that is way. So at this point, I'm just going to go in and put a bit um, of thyme on top to give it that authentic taste. Normally you don't see it when you buy it in Jamaica in the package or whatever the serving in. But I think it's just used to give it that authentic, you know. May I say Caribbean taste? I do apologize for your thing, but because you know time is everywhere, but I'm just saying. So I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna leave it like that. Cover it. Oops, before we cover it, guys, if you want to make some juice, like if you want it nice and drippy and juicy, which yeah, I like it that way. And some of my family members like it that way. And that's how I said that they do it anyway. Like he was making gravy. But when he was done, you did not see no gravy. I think the gravy was absorbed in the shell. So daddy, I have to do it exactly how you do it. So I'm going to go in with some of the juice from the prawn that was sitting in the bowl. Yeah? So if you want to make a little juice, go in with what was sitting in the bowl. Okay? So you don't waste the seasoning, guys. All right? I throw everything. That's it. So yes, that's it my friends. You can stir it again if you want. And we're going to leave on cover. And the next time I come back to you, oh my days, you're going to see this beautiful Jamaica pepper prawn prepared in Queenie Kitchen with you watching. <laughs> that rhyme. All right, guys. At this point, you know what I'm going to say. If you haven't subscribed already, and you love hanging out in Queenie's kitchen please go ahead and do so i just cover about the pot sorry i should have told you but yeah yeah please go please go please go ahead guys and subscribe share sharing is caring comment and please don't just watch 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 and don't give me that thumbs up you need to give me that thumbs up whenever you watch okay so love you loads and I will see you back in another five minutes. So guys, you can see prawn is nearly ready. Juice is boiled down and I'm gonna go in now and just test one of my prawn guys and show you. You want to see one? All right, I'm gonna take this nice juicy red one. Look at that one. Look at that my darlings, look. I'm just gonna go in, look. And I'm gonna cut into my prawn can't wait to try it oh you know it's cool because it's probably not normally thick jeez look at that guys taste it go on have a go make sure you have your water ready because i'm going to taste mine and my water is ready so <laughs> trust me if it's even once you have to cough so we know it's done and ready so next time we we'll come back your food is going to be Ready and waiting. Make sure you have your water, a bottle of beer, or some cool lemonade because guess what? You're going to need it. Now, guys, as you can see, your Caribbean pepper prawn, Jamaica pepper prawn, pepper, 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 pepper prawn is ready. Honestly, guys, I've got twisted tongue because the first one I tasted was so hot. Anywho, I've gone and I've put a bit of pineapple and black grapes in order to cool your taste bud when the pepper start to burn you. Okay guys, so you have the pineapple, you eat our armor prawn, just cool your taste bud down, right? Because I want to see I want to see you in my next vlog. I want to hear your comment. I don't want you to have a solid lips. <laughs> 
or a solid mouth or a solid tongue. But jokes aside, guys, thanks for watching. And before I go, look here. Remember, I told you about in Jamaica how they they do the prawn, cook the prawn, and they would sell it in a plastic bag, guys. Now this is what it would look like. So it's in a clear plastic bag, and they would put the portion that they want to sell, maybe ten pounds, twenty pounds, you know, and then they will put it in the plastic bag like this. and it will be ready for you to buy and you will just buy it and buy a bug juice or a sock sock or a, a coconut water even to have with it because you're going to need something to drink because it's really spicy but yeah that's how you would buy it in Jamaica if you go to the dance hall or if you go to Elsha Beach or you know downtown coming from school or yeah even sometime when you're in the bus driving you will see someone walking and selling and say pepper prawn you want pepper prawn ten dollar bag twenty dollar bag yeah and you will just poke your head through the window <laughs> of the bus and buy a pepper prawn and make sure you get back your change <laughs> but yes guys that's what it would look like and guys i do really and truly hope you enjoy learning from Queen Lee today and watching this vlog and remember it's daddy version not mine and it's not mama version right everybody have their own version but guess what it turned out nice you know each one help one each one teach one so it's not about being judgmental and saying oh this person did it that way that person did it that way everybody have them own a style even in dressing I do hope you have enjoyed sticking with me today because it's always a pleasure guys having you in my kitchen virtually honestly you give me confidence you give me someone to talk to you know and it's just a pleasure so you know from me to you it's always one love and you know what I always tell you well put God first in everything where you do okay you can't do nothing without him Put him first because he's above us, guys. If you're living your life and you don't have God involved in some way, it doesn't make no sense. You have to have someone to look to. Enjoy my pepper prawn. And if you did, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up to let me know that you like it. Or you send me a comment. You know, I mean, communicate with me and let me know what I could have done in your liking. But remember, this is daddy version. I can't change it, so sorry. <laughs> Anyway guys, love you. Gotta go. One love from Queenie Kitchen. Until next time guys. Bye.